Hi, I'm Braden Hill. I'm Ryan Bradley. And I'm Ken Hanks. And this is our IoT project. So the base concept is that we are doing a proof of concept for a system that would be used on the Formula SAE car. Uh, that we would measure the temperature of the coolant fluid from the from the motor uh, before and after the radiator, as well as the flow rate of the coolant. Now, because of things outside of our control, uh, we are not able to use the dyno. So we've set up a little bit of a proof of concept here. Uh, you'll see we have a home base here, which is currently connected to our flow rate uh, meter. Here we have two different temperature sensors. Uh, now part of the project is that we have to have bilateral communication. Uh, so the home base sends a signal uh, that basically tells these two temperature sensors whether or not they should or should not record data. Um, and then the data is sent back from those temp sensors to the home base. And then from the home base, it's then plotted uh, through something like Adafruit uh, in order to uh, get the data to be plotted and, and analyzed. So as a proof of concept here, um, we will actually go ahead and start recording. And when we start recording, we're actually gonna go ahead and switch these from the cold into the hot and the hot into the cold. So I have sent that command. You'll see it basically initializes at zero. And then we've put each of the temperature sensors into the opposite. So you can see that these are going up. And now Ryan will demonstrate how we use air to essentially simulate a flow rate, which would be obviously much lower if it were water, but air is also a fluid, so it is valid. You can see it goes up and down uh, along with Ryan. And you can see that the temperatures of each of the sensors have now crossed over from being in the opposite temperature. Um, and that's kind of how our, our system works. Yeah. Oh.